Hi, everyone. This is Bill Tierney from the University of Denver men's lacrosse team. Uh, I want to thank Coach Shimadi and his staff at Richmond for setting up this opportunity for us to share a little bit of uh, what we do here at Denver uh, through the Coaching Through Cancellation program. Uh, what we're about to do is uh, explain a really simple drill. We call it the New England drill, which is basically a defensive and offensive build-up drill that uh, uh, goes through everything from a two-on-one all the way up through six-on-fives. We really feel that you've got to go through the basics with stuff like this with young men and so that they can get down uh, what they should do in every situation uh, as the game progresses. So the first thing we're going to do, it starts out in a two-on-one from up top. Okay, you can see that after that, a new defender comes in from the side. And now we start the ball from behind. So now we've got a three-on-two from behind. The defense is trying to stop that. And we're going to go back through in a little while how, how, what our theory is on all this stuff. Now it's a four-on-three from up top. Next will be a five-on-four from down below. You can see it's starting from behind, okay? The next will be a, uh, a six on five from the top that will conclude the first full circuit of this drill. You can see the ball's coming in from up top. After I yell at my team for messing up, um, you, can, you can see the ball's coming in from up top and, uh, and we finish the drill. All of these drills um, are meant to help us improve on our rotations, help us get our sticks in the lane. Uh, one caveat I'll tell you is that this was one of our first days of practice this year. So you'll pick out a lot of mistakes as we did later on when we watched the film. And uh, so now we're gonna go through, now we're gonna go through the, uh, the breakdown of the two on one, the, the three on two, the four on three, the five on four. Okay, here's the two on one. You can see that we delay. We, our job here is to delay and hope that the offense makes a mistake. In this case, our defender did a pretty good job of getting to the ball when it looked like he was going to shoot and maybe, maybe caused a little bit of interruption there. On the three on two from behind now, it's most important on three on twos that the first person to meet the ball uh, stops the ball so no one turns the corner and scores. The second person um, goes to the first pass, and then the initial defender tries to get back in position to uh, defend if the ball makes, makes one more pass. The next will be a four on three up top. We form our triangle. You can see that uh, if we're not in a flat triangle on the bottom, we're, we're already pre-rotated. Again, the, the most important, the point man stops the ball. And then the rotation starts. The stick should be in the lane. And what you're going to see on this one is, had our defender's stick been in the lane, we might have been able to knock this ball down. Next is the five on four. <clears throat> we have to make sure that we stop the ball again and uh, determine who, when the ball's coming in from behind, determine who's going to be the one who rotates to it. We don't want to waste two people behind to, to wait for the ball carrier because we're already short a man. So we'll try to determine early who's going to stop the ball. You can see we stay tight on this. There's no reason to go out, long, you know, really wide. We stay tight on this and hope that uh, by staying tight, we can knock down a pass or a shot. And then finally, the last one's going to be a six on five. It's coming in from the top. We like to play the six on five with two guys up top. Uh, and the reason for this is they usually, as long as they think you're going to be there for them, they'll usually throw it to their right or their left. And we, it's an easy way for that one of those top players to move over. Everybody else can delay on their rotation. See, we did a really good job on that, on the rotation. Then we take the drill and we go 
<clears throat> and we start it from behind. So now you'll see us uh, starting it with the two on one from behind. So everything's the opposite now, getting, trying to get our guys prepared to, to defend on all different situations. Now, obviously in a game, we might not put one guy on two behind, um, but he, he goes through the pick here and tries to get back. Remember, the offense should score in these situations. Now a three on two from up top, you can see our point guy stops the ball. Bottom guy goes to the first pass, and we didn't quite defensively recover to the backside. The offense did a good job to score. Now it's a four on three from behind. You can see that we make the rotation in the direction the ball's coming. Guys do a pretty good job of rotating, getting in tight, and it forced the offense to try to throw a home run pass, a skip pass. We also continue to drill here, and, and I think that's important as well because sometimes – transition situations arise from a ground ball. Next is a five on four from up top. Someone's got to stop the ball. Okay, you can see here, we did a pretty good job on the cut. Good rotation, and then he finds the open guy on the backside. That was really good offense, I thought. Um, that's a tough one to stop. And then finally from behind, there's a six on five. Stop the ball. Get your rotation going. You can see our middle people hedging toward the ball. And I think the guys did a really good job on that of not over rotating, not moving too quickly, but everybody being in the lane. So let's, let's go back and review. Uh, just gonna give you a look of both, both situations, starting from up top, two on one up top. And then later on, we'll finish up with one last look at the starting with the two on one down below. Here's the two on one up top. And again, very good offensive drill as well. Uh, I thought the offense on that got a little tight. Three on two from behind. And the guys do a pretty good job moving the ball quickly and getting a good shot. Four on three up top. Most important is that the defenders stay in sync with each other and understand the rotation. Five on four from behind. We always rotate into the ball. The only time we don't do that is on the six on five uh, from from up top, which you're going to see now. Uh, going to see now, we'll put two up top versus the three, and hedge and go back to where the first pass goes. Good five man rotation on this. And, and forcing a pretty a, a tough shot. And then finally finishing up with the, uh, the same, the full drill with the two on one starting from behind. This is really difficult to, to stop, but uh, we might want to keep this guy out front, but it's a little bit unrealistic. This very rarely happens in lacrosse, but it's good to work on it anyway. Make sure your defender did a pretty good job there. The, 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 the shot was a good one. Three on two from up top. Again, stop the ball. First bottom guy should rotate to the first pass, try to get down the backside. It's also a great drill for the offense because it teaches them how to throw the ball in the direction of where the rotation comes from. Right here, you can see we're still in the five on four. We still stop the ball. We still get into a rotation. And they do a really good job of covering up a lot of ground. And then finally, the, uh, the, the six on five from up top. So after we do this drill, um, we'll move into more full field type, type action. Um, we have a lot of different drills, as everybody does uh, with odd man rushes. And we, uh, um, 
but this, this at least gives them and gives the co coaches a chance. I think one of the most important things in coaching is knowing the mistake that was made gives the coaches a chance and the players a chance when things get really intricate in a scrimmage situation, um, gives them a chance to be able to correct what was done incorrectly. And what I mean by that is no matter how many offensive players there are, when we have one, we got to delay. When we have two, we've got we've to stack and stop the ball. When we have three, we've got to triangle. When we have four, we've got to stop the ball, but be ready to rotate in a box. When we have five, we're going to have two up top when the ball's coming in and rotate once, once the ball's been determined which side it's going to go to. And then finally, in full field drills, we hope that we'll get that sixth guy in there and he would run into the hole, pick up the, look away from the ball, pick up the open man. So thanks again. I hope you got something out of this. And uh, again, thanks to Coach Shamadi and his staff for letting us be a part of this Coaches for Cancellation.